Uh, he had some plays there, you know, later in the game. This thing started out tight. The defense kind of turned the tide. What was the D-line kind of, you know, saying to each other in this loud environment, especially against an experienced line like that? Now, we, uh, Coach Andy made sure we knew we had to band together. And that's the defense we knew we had to band together, especially the D-line uh, when it came to uh, finishing off the game. I mean, games aren't, they're not completed by how you start the ball, it's by how you finish. So to us, it was really about uh, coming out there and making sure we finish uh, the right way. Braylon, how'd you how'd you guys get the where, where did the dog work hoodies come from that you guys were wearing pregame? I think I think uh so we, we were supposed to wear them today, but I don't think we could because you can't have uh you had to wear numbers on the field or whatever. But um no, nah, I think he, Coach Henny and, Co and and his wife uh gave us the dog work hoodies. They are nice, man. <laughs> they are extremely nice. But um yeah, I'm just proud to be uh represent dog work, proud to be a part of it, proud to learn from them, proud to uh just be in that system with the guys. Brandon, for us watching the last few years, this, this defense just looked night and day different than it has the last couple of seasons. What what did you notice here that's different? And what is this new defense identity under Dan Campbell? I mean, this new defense identity is way different, I'd say, than previous years. Um, we we hold ourselves accountable. We hold ourselves to a standard. Uh, we know how we need to go out there. We know how, how we need to go play. And uh, it's just about just going out there. I mean, we we prepared, we prepared, and we prepared, I mean, this whole offseason. And uh, just coming to this game, we knew what we had. We knew what we had to do, and we just went out there and did it. Get that big tackle for loss late in the game. Can you walk through that play? What happened? <laughs> so uh, I lined up in my little four technique, and uh, Mill was actually communicating with me about uh, what the what he thought the tackle was about to do. So I'm reading the tackle. I'm reading the guard. I see both of them pull. That's immediately juice, juiced it right <laughs> to the uh, tackle for loss. So yeah, I shout out Mill on that one. And, uh, I mean, I appreciate it. How would you describe Coach Lynn? Oh, he's amazing. Um, I'd say his coaching style is kind of laid back, but it's because he has trust in us. Uh, kind of like Akili said earlier, I mean, he has the most amount of trust in us. I mean, he comes around and encourages us 24-7. I mean, like, he takes control of the defense, and, I mean, he's one of the greatest coaches uh, out there. We, we saw coach, him just... Coach Henny gets a lot of recognition, and rightfully so. Can you talk about Coach Nua and the impact he's had on your game? Oh, Nua, Nua is amazing. So... He's really the one who's been teaching me uh, kind of my pass rush, uh, especially from different stances, different lines, different angles. Um, Nua ha is, is very smart as a coach as well. Um, I mean, he, he, he goes out there, he does what he does. Um, he, we meet, I meet with him all the time. I meet with Nua all the time. And uh, I mean, he just gives me a ton of knowledge on the game and how it should be played and how, uh, you know, techniques and you know, the fundamentals that really go into it. Braylon, pregame, you, you see Dan literally just walking laps around the perimeter of, of Legion. Did, did you guys notice that? Is that a thing that, that he does? And just what does that speak to his competitiveness? I personally didn't notice that. That's actually, uh, that's pretty funny. But I would say he's probably just getting in the right uh, state of mind. Um, Dan, he, he, takes these, he takes these games very seriously. Um, and just, that, I think for him, it was just a way to get into his mind and know what he had to do, what he had to call, and uh, like things of that. Braylon, the, the run defense was such a sore spot uh, over the last couple of years. You guys seem to be pretty stout tonight. <laughs> what would you credit as the biggest difference, especially in that regard? I can credit a lot of things. I can credit the uh, strength and the strength and conditioning. I can credit the uh, coaching. I can credit uh, just us as players. Like we came in, we knew what they thought our weaknesses were going to be, and uh, like we needed to turn that around when it came to this season. So we, we, I mean, this this entire offseason, we went in a mindset like, no, like we got to turn this around. Like we can't be known as that. Like that's not that's not good ball. That's not good at defense. So I mean, this whole offseason was just working on uh, stopping, well, mainly stopping the run, you know, because I mean, past seasons, you know, that was a big thing for us. So turning that around was a big thing for us this year, and I feel like we we are doing that so far. You put Brandon, on. You got a long season ahead of you. When you take time to just reflect on tonight, what will you remember for the rest of the season? <laughs> My guys. Um, I had a wonderful time seeing everybody do their thing, everybody balling, everybody, you know, showing off what they showcase. I mean, you see it in practice, you see it in practice, and, you know, people don't see it. But when it comes to the, as the real world and now they, now they see it, now everybody's balling, everybody's on ESPN and all of that. I mean, it's just fun. It's fun seeing my guys go out there and ball. It's fun seeing all the work we put in paying off and all of that. What was your reaction? What was your reaction to, to, to Kyron's? Oh my, I was going insane on the side. He's talking about the one hander. Yeah. Man, I said I said ESPN top ten off the muscle. Like he was uh I mean that catch was insane, man. Shout out to Kyrie. I was actually talking to him uh not too long ago about that catch. But yeah, it was that was an amazing catch. I was just 
eye open. They can be one more. Was there a moment today during the game that you realized that the size that you guys have added and the strength paid off, either you personally or the defense as a whole? I say I kind of going into the game, we kind of knew immediately, but I mean, there were points in the game where we, you could see that for sure. How the size of our defense, how we're uh, much more stronger at the point of contact, um, was paying a lot off, especially in a run game, and then that that allowed to open up the pass game as well. Thank you, Brandon. Thank y'all.